really complicated and basically nothing posted on YouTube can indicate. Oh, now, are you the political streamer? Say something political. Him and his girlfriend broke up. Now, relationships are extremely complicated and basically nothing posted on YouTube can indicate how things truly are, even for Sneeko, who's very open and honest about his life. Plus, apparently it was an open relationship and I don't really know how those work at all, to be honest. But we can assume, based on what he said here, oh God, that he wasn't taking it all that well. What I do miss about having a girlfriend is just like, you know, I'm a miserable, like, bitter person. I'm always angry and, like, you hear my voice right now, I'm like, Bleh, bleh. Like, having, like, a, like a... Yay! Woo! Yay! Let's go apple picking! It's good to balance off how bitter I am. But once they broke up, he went full red pill. Blatant, anti-feminist, no more sugarcoating, no more trying to word it nicely, just stating exactly how he feels. But do you really don't think that they're trying to emasculate the world and take away what it means to be a man? A man? I see I see the same like, ugh, ugh. like just meeting you for the first time, like, yeah, that guy hates women. <laughs> and I, I, I get it. I hate women too, bro. Like it, it builds up. It's not really your fault. Bro. <laughs> I feel like I'm slowly watching Sneeko turn into a villain. He started a lot of people say that. He shifted to strictly reaction based content. Yo, chat. All the guys that have been watching Sneeko since day one. Is Sneeko turning into the villain? I was talking to him earlier. I was like, bro, you got a lot of your boys saying that you're turning into the villain. And um, I don't think he'll mind me saying this. If he does, my bad. But he was just like, you know, someone has to be the bad guy. That's what he said. That's what he said straight up. He said someone has to be the bad guy. And I was just like, bro. I was like, no, man. Like, I was like, you don't have to be hated, man. Like, you know, if you literally just say what you truthfully mean and everything and people just hate you, hey, it is what it is. But it's just like, you don't have to be the bad guy. Because I don't think, think Sneeko is the bad guy. I really don't. I feel like Snickle, like what Patrick CC said, he's he's that woke friend that we all have that it's like, oh my gosh, this nigga's talking again. But we love him, you know? He's our woke friend. It's just, he's too woke. And that is clipped from live streams and made into YouTube videos. The way to start is when she starts doing stupid sh say, bitch, you're acting stupid. That's what they do. They need to hate us. We're losing the basic forms of society. It's crumbling apart. Shut the f up! Shut up! You see, is that this is all fing noise. The reason that there's so much bullshit is because we're all just fing making content now. He would often praise the almighty alpha male Andrew Tate. Watch my Andrew Tate videos if you want the full background. But basically, Andrew is the single most polarizing conservative red pill alpha male guru to ever grace social media. There's two types of egos. You've got people who have egos who don't deserve it and you got people who have egos who have earned it you got to earn your ego so you look like a fuck asshole and that's what triggers a lot of people about tate and i, I felt the same way my whole life because i've been i felt like i've earned it i am the man there's no one on this planet who can do shit i couldn't do if i put my mind to it people would text me like oh so you just think like you're you just like oh you just like have money and you're you think you're so good looking and smart and fun yo you, know, you think you think you're the man right and i'm like yeah yeah I do. Now that a lot of people are I don't know, there's something about having humility to you, man. You know? Having some humility to you, I feel is a admirable quality. Cause I'm not gonna sit up here and lie. Like I think I'm the fucking man, but I don't sit up here and brag to y'all about it. But like, you know, I I, I don't need to, you know. I, I feel confident in myself that I'm the man, you know? I feel like if you have to go around being like, bro, man, I'm the shit, bro. Like, look at me, man. I'm that in a bag of chips. It's like, okay, bro, calm down. But, you know, I don't, I, I, there's, there's nothing wrong with having an ego to you, but I feel like when you blatantly have to show that ego off to everybody, that's where it, that's where it's just like, all right, calm down, bro. Finding this, they're saying, why are you just copying Tate? I've been saying the same since 2015. People started drawing comparisons, saying that Sneeko is copying Tate, that he's obsessing over him. However, Sneeko has been on this red pill woke journey for years now, and there are even some things he said back in 2015 that feel very similar to his current viewpoints. True. I am not a feminist, and for some reason that means I'm against gender equality. Whenever I tell people that I don't consider myself a feminist, I get the same response. Feminism is for equality of both genders. One, if that was true, it would be called humanism. It's already hypocritical in the title. And he started beef with multiple other creators for seemingly no reason. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a lot of feminism, not a lot. I feel like there's a group where it's just like, they just want to be treated equal. But I feel like modern day feminism isn't what it was started out to be. Because 
Well, f feminism was back in the day, like in the 1960s. It was like, bro, they, they didn't want to fucking keep on washing dishes and stuff. They wanted to work too. If my girl wanted to work, I would be like, yeah, that would help out a lot, actually. So, like, you know, 1960 feminism and modern day feminism is two different things. I feel like modern day f f feminism, I feel like 30% of it, I feel like the 30% of it that's toxic is the one that, like, gets broadcast the most. And the one that, like, you know, everybody shits on. And then you got to think about it like this. Obviously, girls are going to back girls. So even if the girls don't agree with those 30% of girls are saying, they're going to back them. So then in our minds, it's like, okay, it's just all girls. You feel me? I don't know if that makes sense what I just said. Did that make sense what I just said? WRL in the chat. I, I feel like it's just 30. I feel like it's just like 30% of them. That it's like the the toxic feminism. Yeah, it makes sense. If it did, it did. If it didn't, it didn't. The most ridiculous of them all can be summarized very quickly, even though it went on forever. Hamza, a well-liked self-improvement YouTuber who dedicates his platform to focusing on bettering your mind and body, Sneeko reacts to one of his videos. I don't want to watch this, bro. Dead ass. Hamza's a cool guy. I don't want to watch this. Bro, I think you're all a little gay for liking this, bro. It's just, it's too self-helpy, bro. It's too self-helpy. Or a man who p can be perceived as a threat. Then he proceeds to react to Hamza's video, making a cringing face, insinuating how boring it is, even though Sneeko himself made basically the same exact video just two years earlier. My shit is I'm just trying to be better every single day. And that's consisted of me quitting weed. Quitting is like a loose term because I haven't regularly smoked <laughs> in like a month. In a week, so it's been five weeks now. I cheated maybe one time in Paris. I went to a music festival. Um, Hamza that's... made a video responding to Sneeko where he was blindsided, thought him and Sneeko were cool, and that he was disappointed. But in this beef, I found a clip that was very interesting. I'm not your role model. I'm not your friend. I don't know you. Don't try to be like me. This is entertainment. So just when you think it's going to spiral out of control, the self-aware Sneeko pops up and basically hits us with the I'm just joking. I started to think about other popular creators. Aiden Ross, I Show Speed, Hasanabi, H3H3, Jadeon. The thing they all have in common is that they're almost always- Wait, whoa, 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 That's a pretty random group you just threw. Okay, shout out to Speed and Aiden and everybody, but like, why, why H3H3? Just joking. I started to think about other popular creators. Aiden Ross, I Show Speed, Hasanabi, H3H3, Jadeon. The thing they all have in common is that they're almost always in controversy, whether it's intentional or not. Okay, I'm not... Guys, chat, am I always in controversy? Am I always in controversy? I feel like I'm not always in controversy, bro. I, and then when I am, I, I don't try to be. Yes, yes, yes. What the fuck? Kinda, bro, guys, chat. Yes, you are, <laughs> bro, man. I, I just be doing. You don't try. To, I don't try to be. Okay, recently. Okay, yeah, recently I have been. But I don't want you guys. I don't try to get in controversy. You know, it just shit happens. You know, shit just happens, man. And you, I, I feel like there's a difference between so just stepping in controversy. And going to look for controversy, you know? I feel like I just step in it, you know? But then I step out of it, I wipe my shoes off, then we get back to walking. They always have Bro, to all the time? Okay, now you OD in it. No, okay, okay. Get off Jillian's nuts. All right, y'all on my dick now. All right, y'all need to chill. Trying to cancel them. Some are more controversial than others, and they all handle the drama differently. But all this does is just make them more popular. Sneeko took note of this, so he ramped it up. The new generation is literally becoming like the R word. Woo, pride, yeah, I'm a girl and I don't shave my armpits. Who preach this bullshit idea about tolerance, love, and acceptance will also say- Hey, yo, Sneeko, where your hand at? Die! If you disagree with me, they laugh at us. Ha ha! Give me your money, wallet! As you can imagine, TikTok was always a big vehicle for promoting his YouTube videos. The content he makes is perfect viral TikTok material. He started posting his stream clips on TikTok, as well as instructing his audience to clip his reactions and post them on TikTok. They started going viral. The Sneeko hashtag has over 1 billion views. Hey, you Most know what, man? 
Uh, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Andrew Tate put me on. If you guys would like to clip my streams or my videos, I would much appreciate it. Use the hashtag Jadeon hashtag on TikTok. Make as many TikToks as you want. And guys, at the end of every week, whoever has the most views on a TikTok, you literally will get some free merch from me and a follow on IG or Twitter. And I know it probably looks like I'm taking the piss, but I am being dead ass. I am being so dead ass right now. Like, when I tell you guys, I am being dead ass, I am being dead ass. videos that went viral were him reacting to the creator called It's Complicated, who interviews people, mostly women, on the street asking questions about gender. We gotta start watching this Sneeko dude. would try and predict the answers of the women or react to their answers. Who is better at self-improvement, men or women? Men, but they're all gonna say women. Women. Self-improvement, definitely women. Okay, rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10. I'm a 10, I'm a 10, I'm a 10. Let's see, like, it. they literally are about to... Be hypocrites in the first sense. I love going to dance with my girls. Right, but I, my, what I'm saying is, if women didn't like being approached by men, why wouldn't they just go to gay clubs? Because uh, 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 you like attention. Uh. How did nightclubs get away with charging men a higher admission fee than women? Isn't that sexist? Yep, yep. Something I never talk about. Girls free after girls free. Guys, he show up to play. Well, what? I gotta pay fifty bucks and I gotta pay for her. It didn't matter if it was him uploading to his personal account or other people clipping videos and posting them on their accounts. His name and his message was reaching billions, but not everyone was loving it. Most people say he's mad or bitter, but a lot of people claim his message has been the same over the years. Now he just says it louder and faster. Despite the controversy, his second channel on YouTube is exploding. On July 15th, he had 156,000 subscribers. Wow. Two weeks later, he has 439,000 subscribers. With a very simple and effective upload strategy, live stream for a few hours, and clip each reaction video as a singular upload. He has a 10 to th Hey, chat, man. These reactions are the wave. Yo, chat, I honestly think... I honestly think if I didn't get banned on Twitch, I would have been one of the top Twitch creators, like, without a shadow of the doubt. But... Since that's not the question now, me being on YouTube, I feel like if I were if I were to at least stream three times a week, I really think I could. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't be touching speed numbers. Like, I'm gonna just be real, I wouldn't be touching speed numbers. But I feel like I would if I were to stream three times a week on YouTube and actually be consistent with it. I think I could literally be one of the like biggest streamers on YouTube easily. I could get this shit jumping so hard. But, bro. You guys would rather me make videos than stream, you feel me? You guys would much rather that, so. And I've been having fun making videos, bro, but you guys gotta realize, like, I'm over here traveling to Paris, traveling to Scotland, traveling to the UK, England, you know, traveling all over America, bro, and, like, you know, it takes time. And I just had some free time tonight, so I want to stream. But I'm gonna try my best to do both. But, like, deadass, I really feel like if I were to, like, solely focus on streaming... Nothing can stop me. Nothing. I would literally be, be top dog easily. 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 But that should just be for y'all, man. Like, you know, if you guys don't want to be out here making videos and stuff like that, get on your streaming grind. And you guys see the formula. It's clips on TikTok. Get your shit popping on TikTok. It transfers over to YouTube. That's the formula. That's the formula, bro. Literally, every, here, I'm going to give you guys some secret sauce. Every single one of you, there's 13,000 people in here right now. Every single one of you could literally get a viral clip on TikTok, a million views plus. Every single one of you in here. And it's easy. It is fucking easy to get a viral video on TikTok. Everybody does it. Everybody. There's old people that don't even know how to work their phone that accidentally get viral videos on TikToks. Stop it. It's, bro, you, bad ego. That, that's cap. That's cap, bro. Everybody in this thing could get one viral video on TikTok. I'm not even lying to you. Every single person in here, now YouTube, that's a whole nother story. But everybody in here could get one viral video on TikTok. Now what you're doing, I don't know. But you could do it, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Bad ego, okay. 
30 minute video uploaded to his page. I'm just trying to tell you guys, every one of y'all can get a viral video on TikTok. Views daily. At this rate, he will surpass his main channel in views and subscribers in roughly three months. And with all this newfound success, he decided to launch his own social media course. $245 for him to teach you everything he knows about making money on social media. If you can't afford it, you can become an affiliate. People sign up through your link, you get a small percentage of the sign up fee. Just because you know me, you think you know me because you see me talk, you calling it a scam because I can make money off of this. That's not a scam, that's business, stupid. Value for money, grow the fuck up. Do you realize how many hustlers are watching this right now, ready to go and get it? How many people are seeing this opportunity and clipping up a TikTok right now, laughing at your dumb ass? They get $50 for everybody who signs up. The affiliate program is just really good. That's how you grow a business. Multi-level marketing scheme. You just heard of All right, no, I'm never going to do you guys like that, bro, you know? Like, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You guys are going to start seeing a lot more YouTubers, bro. This is what I'm telling you. Andrew Tate doing this thing, you're going to be seeing a lot of YouTubers coming out with courses. And I promise you, they're going to be BS courses. But the whole part of the course is just for them to make clips to promote their channels. I'm telling you guys, you heard it from me first. You're going to see a lot more YouTubers making courses, having people promote their course just so they get the clips out on TikTok. Andrew Tate's about to start a phenomenon that's been unheard of. But if you guys want to just help a brother out, go on and make a Jadeon account and clip whatever you want and be sure to use the hashtag Jadeon to <laughs> get some free merch and maybe a follow on IG or Twitter. Heard another YouTuber, a soy boy, say that, and you're echoing it online. Fucking idiot. Multi level. You don't even know what that means. Genuinely. You can sub. I quit. I go on the subway one time. It I'm never streaming again. Yo, it's not. You should see the other guy. Though. I f you take this internet shit too far, bro. Get that when people saw this, they thought Sneeko barked up the wrong tree. He finally ran into someone that would stand up to his behavior. People were celebrating in the comments. Glad to see him beat up. Bruised and bloody. Others suspected it was fake. Why mention quitting streaming? Why say, you should see the other guy? Just seemed like two random things that goes against his brand. But this was his most viral tweet ever. But it was all fake. It was all a stunt to prove the power of social media, to prove that everything we see and watch online is fake and manipulated. The people who cared about him will no longer believe him if anything goes wrong in the future. And the people who hated him before just said he had to fake a fight to get views. Nobody was really on his side. Nobody really thought he was a genius, but he did go mega viral. He gained thousands of followers, thousands of subscribers, which is exactly what he was trying to do. Sneeko spent years making high quality, professionally produced and edited content. It was objective, it was sincere, and thought provoking. It took him seven years to reach one million subscribers while doing that. Along the way, he gained respect, notoriety, and a career on the internet. But he recognized an opportunity, a shift in social media where he knew exactly how to act, exactly what to say to amass a large following in a very short period of time. Reacting to other people's videos, Shouting, screaming, being bold and aggressive is probably going to have him build a bigger following, a stronger following, and maybe even make more money than he ever has in a way shorter period of time. Maybe he's claiming this is all entertainment so he doesn't have to take accountability. Maybe it truly is just genius marketing. Maybe he's just copying another man's successful strategy. Or maybe he is actually going through something. No matter what his intentions are, no matter what viral stunt he pulls next, no matter how long he drags on this new persona, he knows that if he makes one video apologizing for his spastic behavior, that everything can go back to the way things were before. Mm, I don't think it's ever going to go back to the way it was before. I think the Sneeko that you guys knew and love is gone. I think this new Sneeko is here to stay. Because you guys got to think about it, bro. The, the lore of streaming is crazy. You can literally stream for three hours, cut up anywhere from five to ten clips and then profit off of that forever like 
it's way more profitable and way more efficient to do streaming than it is to make actual content. It really is. It's way better. It's way better, bro. Like Loki, I'm kind of stupid for not just straight up streaming in a um in all honesty. I should really just stream, but I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't feel fulfilled in life. You know what I mean? I wouldn't feel fulfilled in life, so that's why I like making videos. Call Sneeko, I'm gonna call him. FaceTime Sneeko. Making a FaceTime call to Sneeko. Mobile. Let's see what Sneeko says. See if he answers. Hey, buddy. Good? How you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm doing good, bro. I'm a, I am. Say what's up to your uh, boyfriends. Who? Say what's up to your boyfriends. I don't have a boyfriend. I'm single. You have multiple boy. You have twelve thousand boyfriends. They're all saying W uh, Sneeko. Well, w Chat. Well, you don't gotta call him boyfriend. And, and what about the females that are watching? You're acting like you don't have a female audience. They they grow penises and then they become your boyfriends. Okay, maybe that's your D on stream. That's not what I do, but hey, what's up, chat? Appreciate y'all. I just reacted to Patrick CC's video about you. What did they think? Um, half were saying that you know the sneaker they knew and love is gone. The other half were saying uh, W sneaker. Man, yo, Jadia, you weren't even really a main channel viewer. I really wasn't, and I, I didn't. I didn't lie. I told them straight up, like no, I, I wasn't I hip. The sneaker that they knew and love isn't gone. It's just right now I have a purpose and a message right now with my streams. It's not gone. I'm going to get back, get back into that. Jadeon, yo, W Jadeon in the chat. I was thinking a lot about our conversation in the Uber about how I need to be more myself and not just, like, aim for a strict audience, you know, doing gimmicky stuff. And Jadeon, Jadeon is, uh, that's why he's going to have longevity in his career is because he promotes authenticity and being himself. Like, everybody watching this likes Jadeon. A lot of the people that watch me are hate-watching. Like, they watch a murder documentary. Damn, man, I appreciate that, bro. But a lot of people like you, bro. Like, I feel like that's why you got to a million subscribers. You know what I mean? I feel like you don't, like... I'm not gonna lie. It's smart what you're doing right now. But it's just... I've been watching YouTube for so long, and I just see how it ends. And I just don't want that to end up being you. You feel me? You don't want me to become the 6 9 of YouTube. I don't want you to become the 6 9 of YouTube at all, no. I'm not even really starting fake drama like that. Everybody that I'm beefing with deserves to be beefed with. I think, yo, Chad, what do you think about this? I feel like Jadion be squashing beefs a little too easily. Personally, me personally, I wouldn't be able to let that go. But I appreciate your your humility and your willingness to see the positive things. But personally, I don't know how the fuck he does that, Chad. I don't know how the fuck you let that go. It's better to have friends than enemies, bro. Yeah, but are they really friends or are they just fucking with you because you have an audience? Like, are, are, can you really consider those friends or are those opportunistic people? I mean, I don't see what was up to... Uh, how do you say that word? Opp I can't even... Opportunistic. What you just said, I don't feel like it was that for Pokey, you know what I mean? But look at us now, we're friends. Are you really friends? If you fell off, is she still going to respond to your text or are you going to be another guy in her chat and limping for her? I mean, as of right now, there's nothing that I do that benefits her. So us talking, you know, she doesn't ask me to, huh? You're one of the latest YouTubers. Chat, what do you think? Do you think Pokemon is really going to talk to you if, if, if Gideon didn't have an audience? Would Pokemon really still talk to him? Well, bro, she wasn't talking to me when I did have an audience. Uh, like, we weren't cool until we made up. I don't know. Me personally, you, you let a lot of shit slide that I know me in the chat would not be able to let a lot of that go. And maybe that's a... a I, feel, I feel like Pokey's a horrible example. I feel like Pokey's a horrible example. I feel like you should use someone else. Because in that example, like, I'm the one that caused that. So I feel like she's a horrible example. You you didn't cause anything. You said the truth. And we don't need to talk about that again. But you being able to squash that with Tom. Tommy in it disrespected you publicly. He called you a dickhead. He called you a shithead, a piece of shit, whatever the fuck. And we all saw the video... We know damn well you had nothing but positive fucking nature inside of you. And I, I knew that as soon as I watched the video, it confirmed exactly what I knew 
when students say, oh, he's a piece of shit, bullying people. I'm like, bro, I know GDL. There's no fucking way. And I saw that video, and it was even, it was worse than I expected. You were just there. You were being positive, genuinely. And the fact that you let that slide, you can let all that disrespect towards your name, bob and weave, all of that is like, that shows a, a true nature how, of character. How did, I, how, did, well, how did I let it slide, though? How did I let it slide? You didn't, you didn't let it slide, but I know that me in the chat, we would have taken that, seen all the articles, seen the, the words that Tommy, and I would, I would be on his ass. And I know that at least 60% of your chat is going to agree with that. And no, I, I respect it. I'm not trying to call you like that you let it slide, but I respect your humility. And like having somebody as a positive force in the YouTube community is a really positive thing. And I, I know I, I'm not capable of that, but ultimately that's the best thing to be, is just be positive and understand people. Yo, chat, you know what Gideon said? He said, like, Tommy's young, he's going through it. Yo, Jadeon actually has empathy to another level that I'm like, I, I want to get there. Bro, I just looked at it like, you know, yeah, he said everything he said about me, but it's just like, I just had the footage to prove my innocence, you know? So it was just like, why do I need to go on here and say, yo, fuck Tommy in it. He doesn't know how to fucking kill the, kill an Ender Dragon for shit, you know? Like, why, why would I have to say all that when I could just drop the video and let the video speak for itself, you know? Yeah, but imagine if you didn't have that video. I'm, I'm thinking about me in the chat who, like, doesn't record a lot of the situations. What are they saying? W or L? Uh, I didn't really say anything specifically, but, like, uh, do, do they understand where I'm coming from? Or maybe I just have too much hate about it. Yeah, you got the whole chat saying L Tommy. Yeah, L Tommy. I mean, but, chat, at the same time you're saying L Tommy, Jadion is seeing past it, and he's, and he's seeing the positive in Tommy. So, we can say L, make fun of him now, we can cancel him like they want to cancel us, or we can see past it and let him grow. But, Gideon, at the same time, you called me earlier, and I knew you said exactly what I knew was going to happen. You're like, yeah, we talked for an hour, and I'm like, Tommy didn't take accountability, right? And you're like, yeah, yeah. Even when it's obviously true that they're wrong, they won't take responsibility. And that's the fucked up part about social media. When you have a lot of subscribers and when you have people on your side, you can live in an era of bullshit. You can live in an, um, a level of bullshit that a lot of people aren't capable of doing. And it, it, that, that makes me upset. That people get to live in that bullshit. We, when we all know he's wrong, he should apologize. Or well, he called you a piece of shit on a, on a video like that so many people saw. Jadia, how many people do you think, uh, think you're a piece of shit now? Probably a lot, but I look at it like this. He DM'd me, apologized. We hopped on the call. He apologized again. You know. I just, knew, I just wanted an apology, and he apologized. He gave me what I wanted. You know, I don't need the whole world to know that he apologized. He apologized to me, and, like, you know, I'm happy. That's all I wanted. That's that's literally all I wanted was an apology. Chat, chat I want to see some with Dion's right now because do you hear his humility? Like, I'm getting tight and I'm not even Jadeon. Like, I'm mad for Jadeon and Jadeon's like, eh, he apologized, whatever. And I'm getting mad just hearing about it. You have a level of empathy that, like, most people I know don't have. And that's commendable, especially in this internet age. And I think a lot of people should follow an example of that. I need to. Bro, Sneeko, I feel like you could be here for the long call. I feel like you could be the Hassan for our side of the community. Well, what is our side? Our side? I would say your WL community. I would say so. So what is a WL? Like, what, what do you consider that? Like, what is so Basically, if you say WL, that means basically the black side of streaming. Okay, so Black Hasanabi. I feel like you could be... I, I, I've been saying we need a Black Hasanabi. I feel like you could be our Black Hasanabi. What do you think, Chad? You think he could be our... Or Black Hasanabi? I think you could. Blazian. Blazian Hasanabi. My bad. Blazian. Bla the best of both worlds. Yeah. Wait, wait. What about white people? They can't be part of the best of both You got any white in you? A little, no homo, but a little bit. Then three. Best of three worlds. All three common, combined. That's a deadly combo. You know what? Throw a fourth race in and you could be the avatar. <laughs> Master of all four races. One day. One, One day. day. Once I become as, as humble as you. But you, you like that Patrick CC video? That, that was a really good video, and it really describes my, my come up and everything. He, he did a good job. Of, it was like a documentary. It was really good. It was really good. Yeah. What do you think about that? Can you do a, a character study of me, Gideon? Because you're, you're one of the most authentic people I know. Uh, what's your, your diagnosis of, of my online character versus the real me? Um, I feel like... I feel like I haven't got like I, I feel like I would have to hang out with you to know the real you, but from what I know, I feel like, I feel like you're a little insecure to an extent. What do you think makes me insecure? When I feel like you see people in a position, because I feel like you know you're the best, 
but like when you're not getting what you think you deserve and you see other people getting that same thing i feel like that low-key i feel like well especially with d'angelo i feel like you had like a lot more a lot more resentment against him because he was a commentary youtuber and he was like more mainstream when you feel like yeah. it should have been more you like i can kind of get those vibes from you a little bit but we're seeing the shifts you know we're seeing the shift and now like people who have like bobbed and leave all of the mainstream corporate bullshit are starting to are starting to really find their their avenue in terms of success so i'm seeing it now but yeah i think i think you're right and i can't even really diagnose what makes you insecure i think everything everything you really air out and you do a good job of seeing through it but yeah everything you're saying is true and the fact that you got past that and you don't need to really prove anything about your personality lets you be one of the most authentic people on the platform. And I'm trying to get to that level, but I know you're, you're steps ahead even though you're younger than me. But I feel like you're getting there, man. I feel like the more you stream, you're going to just, like, figure it out. Because, like, you just started this and you're already killing it, you know? But, like, I feel like you just got to get to the point where it's just, like, you know, you don't have to guess what the girl is about to say. Like, I feel like once you get to the point where you can watch, like, a fucking video about bunnies just hopping around and you don't even have to pause the video and you just smile the whole time and you still have 10, 15,000 people watching you. I feel like once you get to that point, I feel like that's when you know, like, these people just love me. But I don't want to get to that point. I like comedy that has a point of view. I like comedy that has a perspective and, and you learn something from it. I feel like if I'm just laughing and being engaged in something that has no purpose behind it is, is a little bit of a waste of time. And I would say that every one of your videos that I really fucked with and even though you might be in like that, this is just entertainment. I think you're still exposing some truths about it. Like when you went to the medieval, like it, you're you're kind of like bridging the gap between nerds and regular people, and you're making nerd shit cool. Even though you're just there like having fun, there's a motive behind your comedy, and that's what makes it good. Comedy is not just good because it's funny or mindlessly entertaining. Comedy is good because it's true. I mean, nerd shit is cool though, you know. No, that shit is fucking gay bro like you run around with swords and helmets on but you make it you you are able to bridge the gap between the level of dumb bullshit that they're doing and cool like bro you know you know you know you, you, you're streaming now you know streaming used to be looked at as so uncool if you streamed you were like a weirdo yeah like it's like who watches who will watch someone give their who will watch someone that gives their opinion for hours on women live and then donate them you know how weird you have to be to donate to someone giving their opinion about women and how to escape the matrix you're a fucking weirdo you're gay you're gay the world, the world is weird now because social media has become real life so a lot of those guys watching me yell about women and predict, predict them it helps them understand what's going to happen when they go into a world where women live online more than they do in reality so if they don't know how to operate past that then they're lost and so watching my stuff and me yell about women, it's like, yeah, I'm goofy. And I'm like, I do it like a bunch of bullshit. But at the same time, they're, they're learning about female nature. So it's comedy with a perspective. It's not just mindless entertainment. I, I still think it's gay. You're gay. <laughs> You're gay, Dion. Oh, man. Get that fucking bum-ass do-rag off. Oh, okay. Now you wildin'. You wildin'. Yo! Whenever, whenever you stream, are you gonna stream tomorrow? Yeah, I'll stream tomorrow. I'm not being a bum right now. I'm about to go drink alcohol and be not streaming, but I needed a break. I needed a day off. I don't want to be the fucking guy streaming all day yelling in front of a camera. I want to enjoy life. Too. <laughs> Some bitches, man. Bro, you just had your first hundred K month, bro. Go crazy. Have fun, man. You deserve it. Yo, why are you why are you wallow watching right now? Cause you be flexing. Let me flex for one month, man. I, I, I've been doing YouTube for a long time. I never made, like, good money. That's my, let me flex for... All right, I'm done. That's it. That's all the flex I'm going to do. All right, all right. Nah, you deserve it, though. You deserve it, man. You have a great rest of your night. Yeah, you too, man. Enjoy the stream. Yo, W chat, man. All right, peace, Brody. I feel like Sneeko... Like I said, y'all, I think Sneeko's a good guy. What he says, nah. But I think he's a good guy. I think he's...